Hi, and welcome to Finding Your Flow, the podcast. My name is Jen, and I'm your host. I'm inviting you here to intuitively lead and live your most aligned and expansive life. I'm an intuitive business and leadership advisor for heart-centered, impact-driven leaders, entrepreneurs, and businesses. And I'm also a supporter of women's empowerment and animal rescue work. Unlocking flow and supporting you through your next level of growth and transformation is my superpower. I found my own freedom and flow through entrepreneurship over a decade ago. And on this podcast, I'll be sharing stories and insights through the lens of my expertise and my personal experience and through inspiring conversations with my special guests. I'll be helping you navigate your most important asset, your intuition, supporting you in getting unstuck and staying on your most successful and aligned path. I want you to leave with aha moments, deep insights, clarity on your next steps, and more importantly, an inner knowing that where you are right now is perfectly aligned. Life needs you where you're at your best. Hey everyone, it's Jen. It's so nice to have you back on the podcast. Um, So (laughs) I am literally just, I just literally dropped everything I was doing and popped over here to record this because this is how, this is just how my podcast episodes come to me. Um, I was cooking up a storm this morning. It's Sunday, full moon. I guess there's a lot of energy in the air. Um, I was cooking up a storm this morning for my grandma, actually, because um, I've been cooking food for her and bringing it into the home, the residence where she is. Anyways, and I was, I did like an extra large grocery this week because I was buying, you know, food for me, food for my grandma, and I was actually making some um, meals for my cousin and his girlfriend who just had a baby. So I was like, you know, in the mood of, of just making some nourishing meals for the people I love. So obviously my, my groceries, um, the bill when I got to the cash was larger than usual. (laughs) And, um, so I just almost finished, you know, whipping up all of my meals in the kitchen and I opened the fridge to grab the last couple of ingredients and, and I opened the fridge and I noticed like my fridge being looking quite empty compared to what it was just, you know, an hour before. And I remember thinking like, whoa, that's, that went quickly, you know, like that 300 bucks went quickly, which was the price of my groceries this week. Um, and then I was like, well, yeah, of course it went quickly. I just made three giant nourishing meals for, I don't know, a total of two, three, four, anyways, four or five people. Right. Um, and all of a sudden I just heard this, I got this download about money. So we're not like. I was surprised for a moment when I saw the fridge was emptier, but then I was like, oh, right, I just cooked all these meals. And so that's why the fridge looks emptier because, you know, this food that we make for ourselves is to eat so we can give our bodies energy, right? So it's like, there's like this cycle that we expect. We, we go out and buy groceries, we cook food, we eat food, and then the fridge is empty and then we need to go back out and buy groceries. And then it's like the same cycle that happens over and over again. Um, And I was like, why don't we understand that about money? Like why, what is it about money that freaks us out every time we see the money lower in our bank account? Because it's literally the exact same thing. Literally. Money is meant to flow in and out. um, And it's meant to be consumed. It's meant to be used, right? We make money so that we can live our lives and buy things and feed ourselves and fill up our car with gas and do all the things that we need to do. Um, but I think all of us, we, we all have this moment of anxiety when we see our bank account going down as if it wasn't supposed to go down, as if that money should have stayed in our account. Um, which I don't know. I was just sitting in my kitchen. I'm like, this is so hilarious how we, It's like every time we're surprised and we, we don't understand why or where the money went. It's like, well, it went into living our life because that's what money is for. So just like doing your groceries, money is, is meant to flow in and out. Money is meant to go down in your bank account and then fill back up and then go back down and then fill back up. Um, and then my thought process went, went one step further And I started to think about, well, okay, 
you know, it doesn't always have to empty out completely, right? So when I make food, often I will always make extra and then I will either have some for the week or I'll freeze some in a Tupperware, you know, in my freezer so that, you know, in a couple of weeks, if I need to just grab something quick, I have like now I'm making vegetarian Moroccan style stew. Um, I can, I can grab that, you know, if ever I need, which speaking of my stew is overflowing. So I'm actually going to go grab that right now. Um, so yeah, like that's what we do. You know, we are supposed to have things flowing in and out and we shouldn't be surprised about the fact that things go, things vary, things go up and down, things shift. Um, so I really wanted to share this with you guys today because I felt like it was such an important insight and uh, I'm actually doing my podcast on video today. So for those of you who are going to watch the video piece, I'm literally sitting by my fire here in my home um, because it's freaking freezing and gray and rainy and just awful outside. So it's a perfect day to be making stew. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I always get these, these sort of insights or these realizations when I'm doing something just really simple in my life, really, um, random, nothing deep, but it's like, it's strange because you do this, you do these things in your lives that feel very basic, but those are the moments where we actually go really deep inside of ourselves. Like for me, when I'm cooking, that's when I, I actually feel my most potent creativity. That's when I feel um, myself the most in flow, actually, is when I'm cooking in my kitchen. I'm out of my head. I'm focused on the thing at hand right in front of me. <clears throat> it, it's a very also grounding and physical you know, activity because you're chopping vegetables, you're... Um, just like dabbling with the ingredients. And I don't know, there, for me, there's something just really grounding about that. And so this is the insight that came to me this morning. So, and, and I'm like totally including myself in this, in this idea of being stressed when my bank account goes down. It happens to me all the time, which is why I just had that realization of like, it's the same friggin' thing as buying and consuming groceries. And the reason we buy and consume groceries is to give our bodies and our minds energy, fuel, um, so that we can then go off and do what we need to do in our week. And we know that, that money is energy. Money is, it's, it's like we, we, we've gotten to know it as a physical thing in physical form because, um, you know, there, and I, you know what, my phone just rang and I just took it to turn off the sound and it's one eleven literally 111 on my phone. So this is the kind of day that I'm having today. 111 on my phone as I'm speaking about this realization I'm having about money as I grab my phone. Um, so now I lost my train of thought. Uh, yes, so money is energy, right? And energy is not meant to be stagnant. So, you know, I have a background in yoga therapy. And so that's, you know, one of the key concepts of, of doing yoga is to move the energy through your body. Uh, when someone is feeling stressed or overthinking things or having anxiety, I've had anxiety most of my life uh, through my teenage years in, in very severe forms. Today, in very sort of nonchalant, it shows up. I'm like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know, it hangs out for a little bit. I don't make a big deal of it and then it, and then it goes away. But it's been it's been a long journey. Um, but whatever it is you're feeling in your body that doesn't feel good, like it, you want to move it through your body so that it can then release and get, get out. And that's what we do in yoga is moving energy through our body, moving, they call it chi or prana or whatever, life force, whatever you want to call it. Money is life force. It's literally something that is meant to be moving through our lives constantly. And it's when it's flowing and moving that it actually has more power for us. It actually has more benefit. It's actually more nourishing for us. If it just stays stagnant in your account, well, you're not actually using it to enjoy this experience of life fully. And so when I was thinking about before, like the Tupperwares, like how I, when I make meals, I actually then, you know, store some and put some in the freezer. Well, for me, that's like a, you know, a savings account. So yes, we want to have a savings account. We want to make sure we have backup food. We want to make sure that we have enough to eat. Um, we want to make sure that we have cushions of money 
um, but we don't want, it's like, it's not supposed to all be stagnant money. And even the savings, really, if you think about it, is not stagnant because usually we put a, our savings in an account that has interest, right? So the money is actually moving and growing and flowing. So I just think that this is something so important for us to realize because so many of us have so much stress around money um, and even around debt. Debt is the same thing, you know, money on a credit card. It's the same thing, really. Like you don't want a full balance just sitting on your credit card. You know, you want money going onto your credit card and then money being paid off on your credit card. And then you use it again, money goes on your credit card and it's being paid off. So it's like this constant movement and constant flow of energy that should be happening with your finances. So actually I would say, and this, this is what I'm saying to myself today is like, feel good about the fact that your bank account goes down when it does go down. That means you used your money towards living your life and like actually nourishing yourself in whatever way you chose to do that in that moment. Um, now the most important thing, just like, you know, eating and the food we put in our bodies is you want to be nourishing yourself with things that are, um, uh, beneficial to you that are actually going to, um, amplify who you are and, and what you're doing in the world and, uh, make you feel better and healthier. And so just like, you know, how you'd feel if you ate a whole bag of chips compared to if you had like vegetables and dip, <laughs> It's the same thing as when, like, what you choose to spend your money on. Um, you know, you'll feel much better if you spend your money on, I don't know, maybe some healthy organic food than if you go to the drive through at McDonald's. Um, so choose wisely where you're putting your energy, but um, know that it's meant to move and flow just like when you buy groceries and then you eat that food that you bought. If you just let that food sit in your fridge, it would end up rotting and, and no one would be nourished with it. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything else coming through about this idea, but I feel, I feel really excited about this insight that I had this morning. I hope it's as exciting for you as it is for me. Um, I will probably expand on it a little bit more potentially in, in a future podcast, um, but for now, I think that that is enough to let you just sit with that and, and see how you can relax more into the flow and movement of your money, uh, including the, the influx. You know, I think that our rigidity and our stress around money, like if you think about it, so sorry, something else is coming through now. If you think about it, if you're feeling stressed about money leaving your account, that tension, that resistance, that friction that you're creating with, with your thoughts and in your energy is actually going to create friction for the influx of money also. So if you can relax about money going out of your account, knowing that it's going out in a conscious way, then the influx will flow a lot easier also. So it's like, you need to relax into the movement of your money in order for there to be more ease in the influx of your money also. So I just wanted to add that. I think that's, that's a really, really important piece. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you with that for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the podcast. If ever you want to kind of dive deeper into just sort of everything that ties around finding your flow um, intuition, leading and living your life more intuitively. Um, I do have a free masterclass on my website, so you can go over to jenniferjaneyoung.com forward slash masterclass and grab that. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode and I'm wishing you, if you, um, well, you're not going to listen to this on the full moon, but still energetically I'm wishing you a really beautiful full moon today and uh, we'll speak soon. Bye. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. I want to leave you with this little bit of wisdom. The actions you're not willing to take or the decisions you're not willing to make are the ones that will change your life. Trust your intuition, take the leaps, follow what you know to be true, even if it's not always easy or convenient. Your words mean the world to me. So if you have a moment, please share them by leaving a review of the podcast or sending me a testimonial. 
And I would love if you would share this episode wherever you feel called to. If you want to connect with me, you can find me over at jenniferjaneyoung.com or on Instagram at jennifer.jane.young. Talk soon.